Hey everybody, Mr. Mathlog here, and this is Problem Solving with Time Intervals. So this is Lesson 10.5. Don't forget all your lessons are found at MrMathlog.com. And then uh, go up and click the third grade link, and you'll see there's a fourth grade link and lots of other stuff too at MrMathlog.com. Anyways, there's our common core strand, and so how can we use a strategy, draw a diagram to solve problems about time? We're going to use a number line in this one here. So here's an example. Mitch and his family are going to Disney World. Their airplane leaves at 9.15 a.m. They need to arrive at the airport 60 minutes before their flight. It takes 15 minutes to get to the airport. The family needs 30 minutes to get ready to leave. So at what time should Mitch's family uh, start getting ready to leave? Okay, there's a lot of information right there. So we're going to go ahead and read the problem. What do we need to find? Well, we need to find right here at what time uh, we need to find what time Mitch's family should start getting ready to leave. Okay, so this information, this last sentence right here. Okay, uh, what information do we need to use? Well, the time uh, the, the plane leaves, uh, the time the family needs to arrive at the airport, and the time it takes to get to the airport, and also the time that is needed to get ready to leave. So there's lots of times that are inserted in here. So we're going to go ahead and uh, use a number line to help answer this right here. So here's the problem. I shrunk it up down here. And here's our number line right here. Sorry, I didn't put an arrow on this side, but that doesn't matter. We're going to start over here on this side because we're going to um, uh, find 915 on the number line and then we're going to draw jumps to show. Okay, so there we are at 915 right there. Okay, so right here at 915 and then um, they need to arrive at the airport 60 minutes before their flight. So let's do a um, uh, count back 60 minutes uh, uh, for the time that they need to arrive at the airport, okay? I should have highlighted that in red. I did on the next word problem, you'll see right there. So let's go back 60 minutes. Well, 60 minutes is a full hour backwards, you guys. So so if it's at 8.15, then we're going to have to go back to, I'm sorry, if it's at 9.15, we're going to have to jump back a full hour to 8.15 right there, okay? And then the next part says count back uh, how many minutes for the time to get to the airport, okay? Oh, I did do that in red right there. It takes 15 minutes for the time to get to the airport, so we're going to go ahead and go back 15 minutes. So if it's at 8.15 here, then take off 15 minutes, and that's going to take us to 8 o'clock right there. Okay, and then uh, we're going to count back how many minutes to get ready. Well, right here it's highlighted in red. 30 minutes to get ready, so we're going to go back 30 minutes. So 30 minutes is a half of an hour, so 30 minutes off of 8 o'clock, that's going to take us back to 7.30 right there. So let's answer the question. So Mitch's family should start getting ready at at 7.30 a.m. right there, okay? Make sense, you guys? All right, let's try another one here. So uh, how can we check our answer to start with the time the family starts getting ready? Well, what we can do is work backwards, you guys. We, we can go re in the reverse order and add 30 minutes and add 15 minutes and then add 60 minutes. So if we started at 7.30 and added 30 minutes, whoops, that should be a plus sign right there. I didn't catch that. This should be a... A plus sign right there. Add 30 minutes. Uh, it'll take us to 8 o'clock. And then add 15 minutes. It'll take us to 8.15. And then add that 60 minutes. It'll take us to 9.15 when the plane leaves. So we can check our answer by working backwards. Okay, here's another one. Joshua gets out of school at 2.45 p.m. It takes him 10 minutes to walk home. Then he spends 10 minutes eating a snack. He spends 8 minutes putting on his soccer uniform. And it takes 20 minutes for Joshua's mother to drive him to soccer practice. So at what time does Joshua arrive at soccer practice, given all that? Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and read the problem. Uh, we need to find what time Joshua arrives at soccer practice right here. That's what we need to find. All right, and what information are we going to use? Well, we're going to use the time that Joshua gets out of school, the time he spends walking home. I'm just going through this problem right here. And so uh, the time he spends eating snacks, the time he spends putting on his uniform, and finally the time it takes his mother to drive him to practice. So we're going to add all these numbers after 245. So we're going to go in the other. Now, I made this in red, you guys, and I didn't like that, so I just kept it in black. Normally, I like to highlight the information that we're dealing with in red, but but if you look at that, that just looks kind of, uh, it's unpleasing to the eye. So uh, I just left that there. So how are we going to use this information? Well, we're going to use a number line to find the answer, and we're going to jump forward on this. So let's draw a diagram. 
to help explain our answer. So here's a number line right there. And so Joshua gets out of school at 2.45 p.m. right there, okay? And so we're going to find out when he finally gets to soccer practice after we add all these minutes on. So here we go. That It's going to take him 10 minutes to walk home. So that's here it is in red right here. So let's add 10 minutes to 2.45. That's going to take us to 2.55. All right, this next sentence right here, it says he spends 10 minutes eating a snack. So we'll go ahead and add 10 minutes to that. So 2.55 is right before 3 o'clock. So it's 5 minutes before 3 o'clock. So we want to add 10 minutes. So that's going to take us 5 minutes after 3 o'clock. That's going to be at 3.05. Okay, then uh, he spends um, uh, 8 minutes putting on his soccer uniform. So let's add 8 minutes to 3.05. So use your fingers if you have to. So 305, 306, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. It's going to take us to 313. I was using my fingers. Okay, that's okay. My students in high school use their fingers still all the time to count numbers. Okay, I do too. All right, and then uh, so the last one says it takes uh, 20 minutes for Joshua to drive um, uh, him to soccer practice. So if we add 20 minutes to this right here, so it's 313 plus 20. It's going to take us to uh, 3.33. So uh, let's go ahead and answer some questions here. What time does Joshua arrive at soccer practice? Well, about 3.33. So I don't know if his soccer practice is at 3.45 or you know 3.40 or whatever. So how do we know that this answer is reasonable? Well, it doesn't your, if, you, if you have soccer practice or if you have a friend that has practice or baseball practice, it seems to be reasonable because that's when practice usually is after school. They give you a little time to uh, go home and change and uh, eat a snack and all that stuff. Okay, okay. so um, did we have to draw those jumps in the, uh, on the number line in the same order as the times that were explained in the problem? Okay, well, no, because uh, uh, when we're adding all the numbers, it doesn't matter which numbers we add first. We're always going to come to the same answer. So we can add them in different orders if we wanted to right there. Hey, if you're finding these videos helpful, would you please click like? Thanks a lot, guys. Take care.